Hey folks, how you doing? Sebastian here with another one of those organ nugget moments. As someone said, I appreciate the love you guys are showing me. Just trying to share some different things that I've learned down through the years. Um, today I want to do how to like do some smooth organ chord progressions. A lot of times cats that come from piano, they approach the organ a little kind of in a rough way where it's not smooth. I'm just going to give you some tips. I'm going to give you a progression and make sure you hang out to the end because I'm going to give you a special chord that you're going to love. All right, let's fool around with this a little bit. Okay, what I want you to understand with the organ, one of the key things is not to lift your hands completely. You always have to have something connecting. Always have to connect. So, there's a nice simple little vamp chord. But what I want you to see is how my left hand is always connected. And my left hand always moves with the pedal. Always moves with the pedal. So it's like it's it's like a marriage. So always. So even though the right hand, and I call that the singing right hand, because the right hand has to sing, it has to move, it has to play around with like melodies. And this is just an approach that I've used. I mean, I know there are a lot of organists that approach things differently, but this is just an approach that I've used down through the years, and and it, and, and it's kind of worked for me. But let me let me show you those chords, slow them down where you got them. So that's really like that B minor nine eleven. Sometimes the chord computer, depending on what bass you're using. A little, but it's really that B minor 9, B minor 9. And that minor 9 with the 11, those are very common chords that we use on the organ just to give you that nice, nice full sound. I'm just messing up all over the place on these pedals, right? There you go. The nice, and most of the time you're going between nines and elevens. you get that now I'm almost done but I want to show you this one last chord it's a really sweet move okay I'm gonna play the same progression now watch this that that like slide in sliding into it Now, but see what's funny about that chord. Now, what that is, is an A flat 7 flat 5. But what's interesting about it, and some of you guys are into theory, when you really look at the chord, it's basically two tritones against each other. So you have your, your F sharp tritone, 
and you have your A-flat tritone, but they're against each other, sort of like in like a parallel, just a whole step apart from each other. But it just gives this unique sound that's really smooth. But that's just a little nugget I wanted to share with you guys. Let me do that one time again. See right there, right there? Sweet, man. That's just sweet. Just sweet, man. Just sweet. So I want you to take that and fool around with it. Just have some fun with it, fool around with it, and um, try to take take it somewhere else. But um, just leave some things in the comments. Let me know. And we're just trying to just help and share, but make sure you subscribe. Let friends know about it. We're trying to help out the guys that are not super advanced and just trying to pass along some knowledge. All right? So enjoy it. Play with it. If you really want to play, don't play around.